Hi guys, I'm Nat. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going out sailing on Colorado. You can see the, high, the, the tide is nearly at its highest. Um, so we're going to head out just for a few hours to play about. Poppy's with me. Uh, everyone else is busy, busy, busy. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, we've got the tender here. Uh, so we're just going to sell the tender and get out to Colorado. Tender's ready, let's go. Let's see if it starts first. Oh. 
got a good wind direction today. Uh, the wind's coming from behind us as we're lying on the river. So we're facing downstream and the wind is coming from upstream. So uh, we can just let the sails out um, and we'll sail straight down, almost running with the wind. And then uh, we'll do a little jibe over by Dawlish Warren and then out towards Exmouth Marina, do another jibe and we'll head out to sea. Okay, so, <laughs> bit of a problem today. We had some engine trouble as we were going out. We started off under sail. Uh, it got a bit tricky with the wind direction as we made the turn towards the marina. So we put the engine on, uh, went out under motor to the first red marker, took a right turn. Um, we, we were heading out and then suddenly the overheating alarm went off on the engine. Uh, so <laughs> we kind of wondered what on earth was going on. Switch the engine off tried to sail a bit more but the wind direction was completely wrong for us in the narrow channel going out to the sea so decided to knock it on the head return to the marina and fix the problem with the engine uh, we came back really slowly and then the alarm started coming off again and we thought well we're nearly at the marina we can get in uh, so we got in when we got in uh, had a chat with a few people and they told me about the impeller hmm <laughs> so this is our impeller <laughs> uh, completely destroyed so that's not so good but guess what luckily on board we had a spare so I've got a brand new Impala right here that I can put into the water pump right here uh, but before I did that I had to make sure that the water trap was clear of weeds and that it was letting out water so if I put, put the stop into the arm position here, we can see water's running freely, so we're good to go. We can put the impeller in, and we're saved. I thought it was going to cost a fortune, but we're, we're all good. So I'm just going to put that in. Happy days. Oh, it might be time for an egg sandwich soon as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is going to have to go inside here. It's made out of rubber, so it's really flexible. Uh, this bit is from the old one, so I can get rid of that. I don't need that. That one. Let's see if we can squish it in. Line it up. Push. There it is. Okay, I also put the new seal there. That's a new one. So that's good to go. Need to replace the plate on the front, put those screws in, and it'll be ready to go. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Awesome. That is looking good, water coming in, water going out. No water leak in here. Most importantly, no siren saying it's overheating. So I think we're back in the game. So uh, we had an interesting adventure today with our little breakdown, but luckily, 
previous owner had a whole bunch of spares on board and by chatting with the harbour master and one of the, the water taxi guys uh, we were able to fix the problem really quite quickly on the spot um, although I say quickly it was probably a couple of hours lost on our trip today so we just headed straight back to the mooring so we're on the mooring now and we've packed up locked, locked our colour door and we'll probably come back again very soon for another adventure on Colorado. Okay, bye for now. Special treat to cheer us up. 